Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another Fate Grand Order video. Recording this right after the live stream happened after some... Waiting for tra some translations to finish at the same time. So if I sound a little tired, it's because it's 5.30 a.m. for me. I spent a long time waiting for Summer 7 to start. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about all the Summer 7 stuff the best I can. Um, so let's start. With the first, well, actually, I'm gonna start with just to say there's no rerun of Summer Six. There hasn't been anything confirmed. Summer Seven is starting now. Don't know anything else about that. We'll see if it ever comes back. I'm gonna start with what the first uh, Cesara does, which is Proto Merlin, um, because she is probably the funniest thing. She is literally just Merlin, but better, and in arts. So she's a limited a pretender, five star, one quick, three arts, one buster, um, skill one, increase arts cards effectiveness for one ally, 30% to 50% for three turns, increases max HP for an ally, 2000 to 3000, three turns, and increases critical strength for an ally, 50% to 100% for one turn. Her skill two, summer, this is literally just the Merlin Buster, but on skill 1 instead of skill 3, which is what he does, I think. Skill 2, Summertime Night Blooming Flowers D, increases attack for all allies 10% to 20%, 3 turns, and increases NP gauge for all allies by 20% and applies overcharge 100% for all allies, 1 time 3 turns. Very good. <laughs> Literally just Merlin skill 1, except for much better because it gives uh, overcharge 100% to all allies, which is insane. Skill 3, Succubus Side CX, applies invincibility to all allies and applies drain and peak gauge for all enemies one time, and applies trait to all enemies one turn, and charges NP per trait for self 10% to 20% and removes effect with trait on self. Literally just, again. <laughs> Merlin's invincibility skill, but better. This is this is a dark day if you're a Merlin fan. <laughs> and now they have to buff him, unfortunately, because they power crept him with himself. I mean, it's different. Arts and Buster are two different things. But anyway, Winds of Anvalon applies max HP up on all allies, and applies NP charge per turn, five percent to ten percent three turns and applies gain crit stars per turn 5 to 25 depending on the level of overcharge I would assume passives now this is where she gets crazy and why she probably power creeps them in a lot of ways territory creation D increases his own arts cards effectiveness by 40% item construction a plus increases his own debuff chance by 11% mixed blood EX gained 5% in B charge per turn uh, per turn for self. High speed melody EX start battle with 20% NP gauge. That is what she does. She's kind of crazy. She is another arts buffer. Not quick, which I assume they're saving that for Scotty. If it's not going to be her, then it's going to have to be Scotty. Because at this point, <laughs> who gives arts a buff? when they're already doing perfectly fine. <laughs> it's really weird how there's only one quick support and there's so many others for the others. It's getting silly. So I assume it will be what Summer Scotty is going to be. But yeah, she seems extremely good. Um, the one thing I'll say, just be like, hey, to give some benefit to original Merlin, even though they seem to always want to shit on him with Oberon being a... Um, a support for Buster that doesn't take into account Merlin. Uh, the difference between Arts and Buster is pretty clear, is that Arts isn't really known to be Gorilla, and doesn't really put in big damage numbers. They really kind of get by by the fact that they constantly NP, and it's very easy for them to loop and stuff like that. So they can keep spamming their NPs and stuff like that. Um, so to have a Arts kind of be crit build it's going to be interesting to see how well it does i assume it will be perfectly fine you can't make a hundred percent 
crit strength bad. And really this just says is a generic crit strength. Cause so in theory you could probably just use her with someone else if you wanted. And it didn't have to be arts, though she does want to be used with arts. So I'm gonna be kind of interested to see what she does on her face value. This is a great unit that they've decided to release for summer that isn't really a summer unit for various reasons because if you look at her other ascensions only one of them is a summer outfit so strange but a very good unit and then just to look at her gareth she's not a freebie the freebie ended up being valkyrie but she's a um uh she's the unit that is with um lady avalike and i'm so sorry if i'm so winded it is very late for me but anyway she has one quick two arts two buster she's a saber i believe she's an aoe um she seems perfectly fine from what i saw nothing that's really i can't show you the rest of it here because it doesn't go any lower <laughs> on my obs but now that she is the other four star that kind of is with her let's move on if there was a better official translation i would use it but i don't see any so I'm gonna move on for my own sanity's sake. So yeah, this is the banner. Put them right there. So what they've decided to do now is that there's three SSRs. So what they decided to do is that now there's one less SR and each one gets a solo rate up of the SR. So if you're pulling for Lady um, Avalon, there's a good chance you're just gonna get Gareth along the way or try to. Um, the free to play unit is uh, Valkyrie and you can only pick one of these they have three different designs each and depending on which one you get you i think get a spirit costume that gets you in a different valkyrie because there's i believe seven valkyries i think seven or eight um i don't know how i feel about this like i said they skipped the previous summer so you've even in theory to get all three of them you would need a rerun and then you would need to wait for them to be added to um, the thing Fago does where they get added to another quest. So they have to be run a third time. It just doesn't seem likely with the way that they're heading with reruns that that, that, that will happen anytime soon. But we'll see. If Summer 6 does get rerun after Summer 7, there's a better chance of you being able to get all three. But it will take over three years to get all three. It is also for Assassin, and chances are they'll just be a replace of each of them, so they should have just really given us the ability to get all of them at once. I'm going to be super pissed if it turns out that um, this <laughs> there's only one rerun of this, so in theory you would only ever be able to get two of these. <sighs> but anyway, let's move on. Pay attention. That's about as much as I can show you before YouTube takes me down, but it's a very good bar to see. So here's the other banner units. Abuki the 5 star, hell yeah. Eris, 4 star Avenger. Yeah, man. I have very, I really like Rita Servants, especially the female ones, and I have a very bad track record of pulling any of the 5 star ones outside of Shuden. And we'll see how this one goes when she comes to NA this year, but I'm very hyped for this one. I don't really care that much about Eris, because, or Ares, however you pronounce her name. Um, she's cute, but the story in the crossover made me actively hate her. So I need to actually read the books to see if she's actually like that in the books. Or maybe this summer event where she's an Avenger, she'll fucking chill out as opposed to that event where she was an annoying asshole for the entirety of it. They did a real bad job of that <laughs> crossover event. It might, might actually be some of the worst writing. <laughs> Let's move on. And here's the other ones, which are the, uh, the third banner, the final one, which is Ruler Scotty and Wu, Little Wu, completely grown up from what we can see here, much older now. Very interesting. Um, it's funny because actually Little Wu is also technically a tiny quick support, so it kind of fits thematically in that way, but I would have really thought the Valkyries would have made mo the most sense to put her with. But when you actually know the history of Wu and how she's kind of a quick support of her own kind, a very small one, I think it kind of fits. But it's very interesting that she actually got aged up because she is usually not this. If we had gone in this version of Wu, I would have used Wu much more often. And this is how the kind of banner breaks down here. 
starting with Lady Avalon and uh, Gareth over here and the men. And then in, uh, let's say, one, two, three, four days on the 14th, you'll get the next banner, which is Ibuki and um, uh, Eris. I can't believe I'm over here. And then the 15th, 16th, 17th, we get Scotty and Little Wu. And so that's basically the structure for this summer. I'll go over those units when they actually come out. For some quick thoughts here. So it did end up being that the leaks were true. Uh, which is kind of a shame. Because I, if I had, <laughs> when I asked my friend, specifically Gutsu, to tell me the leaks, I thought that they weren't not going to be real like they always are. And then they ended up being real. So I just kind of knew what they were going to be. And once they showed the theme for the summer and it was completely nice, I was like, ah, damn it, it is actually Scotty. I was not expecting Ibuki to get another SSR version. That's maybe the one thing where I was like, I would have expected her to be a four. Not because of it, not to say she isn't like SSR worthy. It was just more like me coping, hoping. <laughs> To get her easily by making her a four. But yeah. It's a very interesting summer. Um, especially I feel like this entire summer is going to be always going to be weird. Because this is the one that basically gave us Proto Merlin. I don't know how the structure will work if they decide to do this again for next year. I don't know. I don't know about all that. But what I do know is that I kind of like this setup. It's got a good mix of popular like Scotty. And some weird choices like Wu. Popular. Rida. Obviously, Ibuki, and I was gonna say less popular, but I'm assuming she's actually popular because she's a the main of it. And they also probably didn't want to do the Lost Belt six units just yet because they realize whenever they're gonna do it, they can honestly just release one at a time and make them SSR, and they would slowly make bank. That's just the way they do it. Um, in terms of units they didn't use, such as like long-standing ones that people want, like Medusa and Erish. I think you have to realize at some point that because Medusa and Irish at this point would have to be SSR, there's a constantly dwindling like look. If you look at the actual like chances of it happening, the further away we get from it, the less likely it happens. Like at this point, I would expect Space Ishtar to get a summer version before Irish gets a summer version. <laughs> That's kind of how I'm feeling on the whole front on that one. I don't know, it's actually very interesting the way they do it. But I end up, I never take it too seriously. I just look at the girls that I want and then I get them. If you're specifically waiting for your one girl, as someone whose main girl is Quetz, you just gotta let that shit go, man. It's gonna be much healthier for you in the long run <laughs> if you just don't have those kind of expectations. Because what you do is that no matter who gets revealed, if it's not the girl, then you just go terrible year which is just not true for this specific set especially again starting with this one it's it's crazy but yeah when we i'm gonna be interested to see what they do can't wait to look into them for now i'm gonna start uploading this and maybe go to bed i wish you guys the best of luck on jp if you're summoning and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out